I was diagnosed in probably around 2000 with uh, congestive heart failure. When I was diagnosed, it was kind of a big shock. I don't know what brought it about, but glad I did get to come to Emory and you know, get treated for it. I'm David Vega, cardiothoracic surgeon at the Emory Heart and Vascular Center. I'm the director of the heart transplantation program at Emory University Hospital. Patients that would seek my counsel uh, are patients that have advanced heart failure. Their heart muscle is not contracting well enough to supply the needs of their body with oxygen. My husband was really scared because he had been diagnosed with this condition. He hardly ever smiled because I guess he just didn't know what was it out there for him at that point. The doctors approached us with the LVAC, a procedure that would tie him over, give his body time to heal, and to get ready for the actual heart transplant. The goal of a ventricular assist device, also known as an LVAD, is to improve the patient's survival and improve their quality of life. These are mechanical pumps that are used to support the failing heart and improve the circulation in patients. The device is implanted into the heart. The pump takes over the function of the left ventricle and circulates the blood to the rest of the body. After he received the LVAC, he smiled again. He joked like he likes to do. He was the old Herbert that I knew. The number of patients with advanced heart failure in the United States is tremendous. So with heart transplantation fixed at 2,500 heart transplants per year, we're fortunate to have another option available for patients that are not considered a cancer for transplant. I probably had the LVAC for about eight months. Dr. Vega told me that he was ready to upgrade me back on the transplant list. Maybe about a week after that, I was called, you know, for the transplant, probably about one, two o'clock in the morning. You know, please get up here quick as you can. I was scared, but I had faith in Emory. I was determined that everything would work out, that he would be here with us for many, many years, that he would get to possibly see some grandkids one day. It's important for patients to have a dedicated center for transplantation because of the nuances that occur in patients with uh, transplants. They do have complications from time to time, and they have unusual complications and unusual infections. And that's where the expertise of a center such as Emory plays such a vital role. You get the feeling that it's not just the hospital, that they actually care about the patient. There's a lot of people that wouldn't get the care that they need or deserve, so I'm really glad to have someone like them. After he received his heart transplant, he's doing everything that he's always done. He's my husband again.